Uh, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. Welcome. Excuse me. Okay, so <laughs> welcome everybody to week four. Um, so for our question for the day is, who is your role model and what are your strengths? Um, would someone like to share out? This is your moment. Take it. Liana. Liana wants to share out. Okay. I definitely. see Isabella. Um, my role model is definitely my grandparents because they've done a lot for me over in the past um, couple of years and I've learned a lot from them. Bravo. This is such a sweet answer. Isabella wanted to share, right? And then Zoe. My role model is my mom because I've lived with her my whole life and what she does right now is what I want to do in the future. So she teaches me on, you know, health stuff because she works in the health. This is amazing. Thank uh, you. Does anybody else want to share? Yeah? Zoe wants. Go ahead, Zoe. Okay, so saying my role model is my, uh, well, my role model is my mom. And something that she does that I want to do in the future is that she does like this. She works for like domestic violence and stuff, and she helps out with people when they need stuff. And I want to help something like that and help people. This is awesome. Thank you. Amazing. For <laughs> Isabella, well, not Isabella, Amy wants to share. Sorry, Isabella did. Thank you. Um, so my role model is my cousins because they support me in everything I do and like they're always very like active and like uh, one of them works like in the health department which is something that I want to do as well. How old are they? Amy? They are well the one I'm talking about she is 21. Wow. Lucky you, like it's so good to have your role model next to you, close to you. This is awesome. Thank you for sharing. I don't see more hands, so I think we address this. Go ahead, Cindy. Thank you for sharing. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for raising up. Anita is sharing. Uh, in text, she said, my mom, because she's strong enough to take care of me and my brother, even when going through hardship on her own. Yes, women do have a lot of resilience. I totally understand. I am single mom of two. Look at us. <laughs> we the world. <laughs> you guys can do it all. <laughs> That's true. Okay, so for our meeting agenda, we are um, doing... Uh, the meaning goals and so it's the first one it says to develop an understanding of following computer science terms html and html element begin creating um wireframes of our projects i have a question for everybody have anybody heard of html before i Zoe? see Zoe, yeah who else In Arna. Show me your hands. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it means. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to learn that today, okay? <laughs> I All need right. to say And Isabella said no. I think I remember HTML a little bit from your class, Cindy. Would you like to share? Uh, I don't even remember. Like, I know, like, I just had the biggest brain fart ever. <laughs> like, I just had it on the tip of my tongue and then it just disappeared. <laughs> it's Bravo. Maybe um, it stands for hypertext marketing markup language. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You would... Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, though. Think about it as a bones. But you said like mark of what mark of language. Mark I thought you were about to say Marcarena Macarena for some reason. No, uh -huh. I thought you were about to say Marcarena. I'll do it. What does Marcarena have to do with anything? 
Uh, no, as in markup. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but... It's good mnemonic rule. Now you know it's hypertext, markup, language. Language, yeah. I know part of it, I think. Go ahead, Amy. Isn't it a web pages, like websites? Yeah. Good. It does serve websites. <clears throat> That's what web pages consist of HTML and something else. Good. Thank you so much for sharing. Right, let's go to the next slide. All right. So I remember, again, just going over the practices. Remember to meet your microphone. When you're not speaking, change your name to include your pronouns. I actually forgot to do that for right now. So let me change that. Quick. I'll, I'll give everybody a second to do the same if you haven't. Okay. Um, you can use the um, raise hand feature. Keep your cameras on. I would like to see your cameras on so that I can see that you're um, interacting with me in um, the whole class. Sometimes I don't know if um, you're actually there. So if you have a camera on, I can see, you know, if you have any questions and everything, I can, I, and I can see you um, so you can talk. And also to use respectful language. Um, I just have a question. So before we begin, um, I would like to say that when we, when I ask a question, I'm not sure, do you guys see like a, like a reaction button in your screens? No? Do you yeah. guys? We see like, we don't see the reaction button. Like we have the reaction button to, for us to do reactions. Yeah. So you can do like a thumbs up. Or any, do you guys see that option? If you do, click click on it. So I know it's working. Good. Good. Awesome. I see everybody's figuring out. Okay. Isabel, do you have any trouble with it? I don't see it. I see raise hand yes and no and go slower and go faster. That's all I see. What device are you using? I'm using a Chromebook. Book? Okay. Um, in your lower right, do you see um like maybe like an emoji or something? I seen it when I was on my phone, but I don't see it on here. Okay. Well, um for you you can when I ask if you have any questions or anything, um just you can use that raise hand feature so I can still see it. Okay. I want to make sure that everybody has like a way to communicate with me because I can't really, I don't always see it until I click on your videos. <laughs> okay. Yes, I got it. Thank you. Great. And now I know that's working. All right. Let's go to the next one. I wanted to start off to watch this really cool video that Anusha shared the other day. This was, I felt like this is really amazing. Like, I know vocabulary has so many, um, videos i love the math ones um sometimes i tutor my i tutor students in my community so um that would actually help them remember like really good information and this one about co um conditionals is really awesome so i'm gonna share it out with you guys okay so i'm gonna just move these things out of the way That's what we learned last time, right? You remember it? We didn't watch this video though, right? We didn't. No, but right, that was from the first class. Right. Okay, so just making sure. I'm gonna share my sound. Yes, okay. Let's see. There are many coding languages, but all programs run by following basic instructions, like, do this, then do that. If this is true, do this. If it's false, do that. The order in which a program carries out instructions is called the control flow. You can manipulate the control flow with conditional statements. 
You know what I'm talking about? So let's get into it. Y'all ready? Conditionals. Uh. Conditionals are statements that only run when certain criteria are met. Uh-huh. And to see if they're met, conditionals they tell a computer to check. Computer and to see if a condition is true and to do an action if it is. If it and is. if it's false, do a different action. Do you get the gist? Do you get the gist? Where do you find conditionals? In games and sites in daily life, yup, day and night for real. Imagine if your mom someday is like, if you wash my pickup truck, I will pay you like 20 bucks. Uh huh. The condition that has to be true is washing the truck. Washing the truck. And if it's true, then you get paid, yup, that work well. Uh-huh. If the condition is false, there's another part called the else. Called the like else. when your mom says or else, you're not going to the mall. That's the else, it happens when the if condition is false. So if you don't clean the truck, mom looks to the else for the other action. You don't go to the mall, there's mud on the Chevy, no satisfaction. You can code conditionals too, that's what programmers do. Uh-huh. Bet your mom wishes she could program you when you don't do what you told to do. Yep. Conditionals tell a computer what to do if a certain condition is true. If a certain condition is false, if there's a different thing, yeah, that's all. Conditionals tell a computer what to do if a certain condition is true. If a certain condition is false, if there's a different thing, yeah, that's all. Let's write a conditional. game called wizards of hey, you are a wizard and you can summon creatures to help you succeed the creatures you summon depend on the level that you have achieved here it is the pseudocode cast a summon spell if level equals one you summon a porcupine what does that mean the program will check and see we'll check and see if the level equals one is true then here comes a spiky friend for you so if you are level one, you are getting a porcupine with paws. But if you are level two or above, then that condition is false. Condition is false. If it is false, the program might check another condition. Another condition. Before it moves on to the else on this mission. The other condition that could be true is the else if. For when there are more than two outcomes you want to deal with. You want to so deal with. else if the level equals two, summon a land shark. Which doesn't move too fast, but has sharp teeth like a bandsaw. If both of the first two conditions are false, the program moves on to the else. Like else, summon fire breathing multi headed turtle monster with a flaming shell. So that's what you get when your level is three or above. Or above. We use if, else, if, and else, uh, to write it up. Write it up. Conditionals tell a computer what to do if a certain condition is true. If a certain condition is false, then a different thing, yeah, that's all. Conditionals tell a computer what to do if a certain condition is true. If a certain condition is false, it does a different thing, yeah, that's all. That's all. Let's see how it would look in a real language called Python. We use elif for the else if condition. Right on. Player level is a variable. It holds info that can change, like the player's level in the Wizards of Cheese game. When summon spell cast, if player level equals one, summon the porcupine. Elif player level equals two, summon land shark. Else, summon multi-headed turtle monster. Okay, so um, how do you like about this? What's your opinion? Zoe was dancing. No, no. I really. Zoe really... was. <laughs> I know. What is that? <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Just to let you know, also that same link is in the e- the reminder email or the weekly digest that you got last week, so you can take a look at it. again. I had a comment. Oh, Amy. So the thing that brought me way back to your class, what part where I had like all the numbers, because I remember that you used to show us how to like 
uh, use code on that, and I would get really frustrated because I would type in the wrong command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I um, remember that, but it's okay. <laughs> um, well, we all learn every day, and sometimes we may forget. Sometimes we just have to go over things, and um, we're here to learn, right? Okay. All right. So the next slide. Okay. So we're going to do a sisterhood activity. So you'll have like two minutes or three that will basically answer these questions. So who are you named after and why? Where does your name originate from? Do you like your name? Who named you? Who choose the spelling of your name? Do you have any memories about your name? Does your name have a special meaning to you and or your family? If you can rename yourself, would you keep the same name or change it? So we're going to be, we could be in breakout rooms or we can actually share out here together. What would you guys like to do? I can help to create breakout rooms, but do you want to share with everybody or just in this? We can just share with everybody. Um, I don't think that could be a problem. Um, okay, everybody is saying breakout rooms. We can do that. That's fine with me. Um, can we have each other on breakout rooms, please? I'm not sure if I can do it. I'm doing it right now. One, okay. two. Thank you. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, good. You are invited. Join the room. Amy, Eden, join the room free. Ooh. Okay. Arna, can you join the room number one, please? Zoe, can you join the room number two, please? It seems you are like <laughs> confused with breakout rooms, are you? I was going to my breakout room and then I just, I just got kicked out. Right, because you were going different directions. When you came there, <clears throat> you were alone, then you left and girls went there. <laughs> so Liana just alone there, go back. Oh, I don't know how to go back. Can you? No? Um, uh, I just left the room, I leave it now. Let me see if I can invite you. Move to, ooh, okay, she's back. Liana, Zoe, you missed each other. Liana, Zoe, you missed each other, sorry. But I was like, I didn't know where you were. I was like, is she coming? <laughs> now sorry. use this main stage as a breakout room. Nobody's listening, okay. It's kind of like okay. a change because when I went there, she wasn't there. And then when she went there, I wasn't there. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell me about your names. Share. So my, um, I forgot what I was named after. I think it was a flower or something like that. I forgot um, my, I think my, I think my mom, my mom gave it to me. Um. I don't know who chose the spelling, and if I w if I could have a choice, I would actually change my name to Ash. For some reason, I just feel like that's a better name. I really like that name. It is for so some beautiful. Reason. It is so beautiful. Thank you. How about you, Zoe? You're muted. <laughs> Unmute yourself, Zoe. We cannot hear you. We want to learn about your beautiful name. I'm sorry. Um, 
I had to actually search up my name for some reason because um, my mom told me it meant something Zoe, but I forgot it. So Zoe was the first Zoe. Uh, Zoe is a female first name, of course, of Greek origin, and my my name means life. And my mom chose my name. I when I was little. They told me that my name was Z-O-E-Y, but I didn't like it. So my mom told me I wanted to change it to Z-O-E. Um, I'm named after Greek or whatever. A Greek goddess, I think, was named. Um, can I tell you something else? Um, I want to tell you something else that my almost name, actually, as well, um, because my name's Zoe, as you know, but another name that they were going to call me was Jada. That was my almost name that they were going to name me. It was between Zoe or Jada. I think my mom was the one that chose Zoe. Um, it's beautiful name, Zoe. It's beautiful and beautiful. Other options? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay, your homework. Please Google it. Google about your names. You will find so much, so many interesting I'm things. I'm going to Google it and then I'm going to tell you because I think I'll be found a little bit. <laughs> Next time, okay? But Liana, your name sounds very similar with mine. Oh, she definitely discovered something. I'm not happy. So it says my name in Japanese. In Japanese means unpleasant. No, don't, don't, don't trust different country languages <laughs> and this is another lie. side of like the globe. different forms so like people in different countries would like like spell it i don't know if you could see it this yeah is it zoe uh oh, turned off a little i'm pleasant i'm so wow <laughs> keep googling keep googling it's definitely yeah, we'll find something <laughs> you will find something beautiful about liana liana liliana Lilac, it's those are so sister related. And my name, I thought it was. I got uh, something good. I got something good too. <laughs> okay. I so guess. I searched up what is um Zoe mean? So um so I said so it said a Greek name meaning life, as I already told you. In the Greek translation of the Bible, Eve became Zoe. Well known Zoe. Zoe's actress Zoe Deschanel and Zoe said I don't know how to say her name but I was there's some other famous people that I was named after two of them look what I found about Liana Arabic in Arabic it means the name the name means eye of the light this is wow this is so beautiful so um, I looked up what um, Ayana meant. I just looked it up. It said the name Ayana means God is gracious and is of Spanish origin. Ayana is a name that's been used primarily by parents who are considering baby names for girls. People who like the name Ayana also like the names Isabella, Lana, Amaris, Gazelle, Emiliana, Selena, Iris, Mateo, Gabrielle, Miguel, Liam, Carlos, Imani, Elaine. It's worth to Google to learn more about your roots, your names, and your destiny. Um, you see? Can somebody Google mine for me? Because the only thing I found is that my name is Thank You. And so do. <laughs> can somebody Google my name for me, please? Yeah, same. The okay. only thing I found out, my, my name is Beloved or To Love in French. Yeah, I'll put my I'll put how to spell my name in the chat. If you guys can Google that, that for me. <laughs> you can Google it too. But I, I like you have it. I think I have it. What does the name Zayana mean? You have an aspir ha aspiration and inspiration, hope and guidance. Since you are initiative and pers perspective and, and you understand human nature, you have the power to achieve. You are inspired introspective and have good a good understanding of the human heart Go. Oh. <clears throat> this is so awesome and i'm glad you learned so much just doing this simple exercise so uh, we'll be... i have something to say okay, okay. i'll google your name i did that so much for the name zoe <laughs> so 
We will stop <laughs> sharing this activity. I'm glad it was fun. Please continue this on Discord. Yeah. You can keep so, Googling and sharing and helping each other there. So yeah. Amy I means love. The idea is that um, some cool nicknames that by the, the people call Zoe's. So, oh. Zoel, Ziggy, Zoe Trot, Cloud Z, <laughs> Zoe Bird, Zoe, Zoe Lizzo. Stop he there, wonders. Zoe. Stop right oh, there. No, <laughs> Thank you yeah, so much. So. Thank it you so, so much, much for sharing. You um, can keep just, working with this and playing. Look, right? I just know that my name, I'm the only one with the name Zayana spelled like this. And there's only like one of the Zayana names. But... Oh, that's so cool. So your name is unique. Yeah, and her name is spelled totally different. <laughs> So I actually uh -huh. went to school with her. So. I even don't know what's better, actually, to be a unique or just to be such a <laughs> big, um, responsible so, for the big name, right? Yeah. So I would like to share that um, I, my group didn't, uh, not everybody went, but I saw that Arna was able to put in the chat. She said that my name means wave, ocean, and it means name of and God, which is, I think, is so cool. Like, I never heard of it like that. This is so beautiful, Arna. You are so quiet, but you mean and represent so much. Right? This is <laughs> um, hey, does anybody keep want to Googling? Keep Googling your names. You will dig deeper. You will find so much, so many options, right? I did mine. Sure. Amy? The last one. So okay. I saw. Amy type in the chat like someone search out like what her name means and me me wondering what other things are her name but I was being nosy and I wanted to find it out for her so um so the thing is Amy is a, ver a, a version of Amy it sounds like you're like it sounds like the same meaning but it has way different letters and then old French Latin from French Amer, meaning to love. So your name Amy and French Latin, old wait, old French Latin and normal French today, your name would be Amer. And in there it means love. So we got the winner in Googling. <laughs> Thank I you. I just realized how much of a cool name I have. Yes. <laughs> you see <clears throat> you started low i'm the google master <laughs> you started low, i haven't looked up what cindy fine. means it means oh. woman of mount can those i'm searching that and i'll put the meaning of cindy in the discord chat yeah it was a <laughs> great deity to the greeks yes. it's a great thank name thank you all right Good thank you so much guys put each other's we names to the discord please we want to save all of that treasures treasures and i see what anita was sharing her name means grace in hebrew i have something really quick to say sure go ahead um miss yulia your name means youthful youthful wow please put it into discord i want to read about it thank you so much okay thank you Thank you guys fun. so much. I knew it will be fun and I'm <clears throat> I'm so happy you did it. Okay, we have to move on. We have so much to accomplish today. Okay. Yes, we do. All right. So um thank you everybody for sharing. Um I would like to talk about HTML now. So let me just Sorry, it's not. Okay, now it's working. The main tool used to build a website is HTML. So HTML stands for Hypertext Market Language, like I just, um, like I said in the beginning of the class. It is used to lay out of the content content you want to display on the web website. You can add text, images, headings, etc. Each page of the website requires its own HTML sheet. The main page is referred to as an index. So when programming this page, be sure to title it index.html. It's very important to have our .html in the end because that's what um, is considered a website for 
forward coding in HTML language. From there, you can link other HTML sheets, which will allow users to access other pages of your website. So, there you go. So introduction to HTML elements. HTML consists of elements which are contained in tags. These are different types of tags that are used in different kinds of website, website content. Today, we will focus on paragraph tags. So in this example, you see the structure of tags, right? The general. You have these that look like a greater than and a less than sign. We actually are, we call them tags in this language. So we would have our tag name here between the brackets, right? And then we have the content of the tag. And then we have, we close it. So this is open tag and close tag, right? So when we do this, we can do it as a paragraph or as a title, header, whatever you're going to do, we always have to make sure that we close it and we open and close it. So for example, we have the P, so open paragraph. This is where you write your paragraph and then you close it. Again, remember to always close your tags. So knowledge check. What do we call the main page of website encoding? Does anybody know? Okay. So I remember that we did the HTML index. That's the main one. So we have our index as our, like basically like our home name, like a home page. That's what will directly go into that pit website. How are tags are presented in HTML code? Does anybody know about this one? We just covered it. Let's go back to our notes. So, Again, remember, we have our index, the HTML. That's our main page, right? Next, tags. So HTML consists of elements which are contained in tags. There are many different tag types of tags that are used in different kinds of website content. So we can do paragraphs. This is one that you can do, paragraph. What tool allows us to navigate other pages on the website? Does anybody want to expand on that? Shall we practice it? Right in the chat, right here. For example. Should. I'm just shared my paragraph. So I'm telling the browser, I'm telling internet how to read it. I'm saying this is a paragraph and that's what inside it. Hey, beautiful. My name is Amy. Well, well done, Amy. Good job. Good job, Liana. Diana. Okay, Arna, great job. You see, we're getting there. Let's have a few more because I want you to type it. It's really good practice. When you type it, you can do mistypo, right? And this way you also learn, which is totally fine. Can anybody tell me what BRB means? BRB? 
don't it know means right be now. right back. <laughs> okay. I'm learning. <laughs> Good job, Anita. Well done. I cannot believe nobody will do a typo. Please do some typo. <laughs> I want to see and learn from it. Thank you, everybody, for typing in the chat. I hope you all tried. I'm trying to check right now. And just a few words why the main page of a website named Index? Because you have to tell internet, this is where to start, indexing it with your index finger, right? So it's kind of very mnemonical. That's the convention everybody agreed upon. Okay. Good. So I'm trying to press. I would like to also share a website that I actually used when I was learning um, HTML. It's called W3 Schools. Good job, Janea. Great job. So in W3 School is on online um, web tutorials. I use this for HTML. I'm actually trying to learn Python as well. So HTML um, to, in this one, let's see in the chat. Good job, Zoe. I'm He's asking, let's see if I know it. You used to show us every, everything. Ooh, okay. We have a advanced coders in the room. Okay. Shall we swap the places, Cindy and Amy? Thank you. Um, because I used to I used to um teach in the computer science program at the Armory. I know. So Amy was actually one of my first students when I um shall we ask Amy to when I teach, teach there. Now when <laughs> she learned, she can help you. Yeah. Of course, one day we can do that. I'm going to press, um, put the link of this website in the chat, okay? And also gonna put it in the Discord later. Okay. Um, basically with this website, I actually learned HTML. It introduces a lot of things and even includes um, an example. And I love this because it helps you do try it yourself. So you have HTML head. These are the tags that, are, um, oh wait, that will be on. Yes, <laughs> and for here, we, we start with doc type HTML. HTML, meaning, because that's that's what we're, the language that we're using. We have a head, we, we're gonna close the head. We have a title, and then we close the title. Then we have the body. H1 is actually a heading. One is because it's the size of the heading. And this is the paragraph that we talked about today. I'm going to explore, um, expand on this more and then maybe in the next class, but I would like to just show you what um, this basic one would it looks like. Good job. Good job. So basically with this, it changes, it goes into this website. So if I want to change it, I can say, welcome to my website. And I'm going to put the paragraph as girls to code. Box. I'm going to run it and it's going to change. So again, the only thing I changed was the text that's inside the H1 tag and it, it went here. The paragraph is down here. So I hope you guys found this um, cool. Oh, yay. Yeah. <laughs> I think um, it's best start than glitch, better start than glitch. But another thing is that, yeah, I just wanted to show you this website. So now let's go back to the PowerPoint. We're going to work with glitch first. So glitch, let's 
screen. Yes. Okay, so Glitch is actually a website where users can code independently and collaborate. So it could be like a Google a Google Doc. This is why I also like this website because you can do it as a project, meaning that you can do this at the same time with other people, just like how you use your Google Classroom. Um, when you have in regular, in regular school, you have like Google Docs where you would share with each other and you can work at the same time, right? You can do um, Google Slides and everything. If you guys have like a group project, you guys can all edit at the same time. You can do this with Glitch. However, you won't do that with the W3 schools. So Glitch is very good for our purpose for our, thank you, for our um, group. So we will be using um, Glitch to create our websites. One group member will create a project and invite other group members to collaborate. Today we will be setting up our account so that you are ready to go for the next time. So on the chat, Julia actually put our the Glitch website. So I would like you all to go to click on this link and to create an account. You can do this account by signing up with Google or with your own email. So I'll give you time to do that. If you have any questions, please let us know. So I need to do that. The goal for today just to create an account. It's quite important and we will play with Glitch later. But it's important to make sure you are in, you're getting into the platform. We hope we do not need to troubleshoot here, but sometimes it's happened and we want to make sure you got in. Raise your hand when you will be done. When you, yes, will you, can, you can raise your hand or put a thumbs up. This is why I explained it earlier, because I could see better. So I'm just going to, um, Jana. to help. Okay. I'm going to sign out. Good. So basically to log in, to sign up, you can always, you see these options which says Google or email. You can use Google if it's easier, just click on Google, sign in your own Google account and you'll be there. You have an account or you can actually have your email. Jana did. Okay. Trying to see who else did. Good. Indeed. Good job. Is it the create uh an account or is it the the sign into glitch one? The curate your account. Yes. Create an account. Okay. But when you create an account, it looks the same. Thank you. Thank you. Right question. Thank you. The email magic link is basically you put your email and they will send you a link that will um, give you a code to register. So if any questions, just let me know. Okay. I'll give let's, you a few more minutes. Uh, yeah, let's do the opposite. Let's raise your hand when you need help, okay? Otherwise we will count you're good. Jana needs help. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I can't click the link because I'm doing coding on a different device than my cell phone. But when I type in glitch.com, um, the only thing that pops up is says simple, powerful free tools to create and use millions of apps. Is that the right one? Let's see, is this? I barely heard her. Do you have the two fish logos? It looks like fish, right? On yeah. the left is that one. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Just remember to just press create an account. I created an account, so am I done with this for today or do I stay? But with this specifically, you're done. But don't close it until the class is over, okay? Just in case, maybe we'll have a minute to practice something cool. Stay there. Keep it open.
How are you doing, Iana? I'm good. Good? Okay. Um, Eden, how are you doing? Eden, do you have a computer, laptop? It looks like you're with your phone and it's really hard with the phone. Please let us know if um, you need a laptop <laughs> because most of these websites, it will be useful to have a laptop, okay? Did we hear from Anita? Last check and we go. Ed and Anita, how are you doing? No signals? We move on. Cindy, go ahead. So So getting started with our wireframes. So the first step in creating a website is designing a wireframe. A wireframes are basically outlines of all the content you would want to be included in your website. You can do yours on paper on a Google slide, which I um, which could be recommended. Uh, determine how you would like to organize the content on your website. You can use label shapes to find it out. For example, you have here as heading. Remember each page of your website requires a new planning page. You would need more than one slide or Google sheet to complete your wireframe. You can use this with, um, since we all have Google, we can use this as um, a Google slide or you can use Google Doc. There's always ways to make shapes and put the text inside and it will be easier for you that way, or you can just um you can just put it in paper pencil and paper just remember where you keep them because it's important okay it's your so brainstorming now. tool i'm sorry what did you say it's your brainstorming and planning tool you're planning what you will be doing building coding yes very important so collaborating with on wireframes. So let's get in groups with our project teams and begin creating wireframes for our projects. So I recommend one member creating Google site and sharing with their group members. Let's check to see um, who's in our group because I remember from last week, some people were missing. So let's just make sure they were absent. So I'm just gonna make sure that we have it ready to go. I'm ready with breakout rooms. Yeah, but I'm not sure that everybody has their um, group members because people were absent the other day. Right. So I have here as um, the team. So there was a Pong game on Scratch, a tutoring website and a board game. Um, Read me names for Toast. One game is Amy. Um, excuse me. Yes. I was here last um meeting. Oh, sorry. What what group were you in? Um, I didn't get assigned to group. Which one would you like to work with? Um, she can offer her own idea. Or yeah, you can do your own idea. We can make a new um. Um, team for this. So what would you like to do? Um, 
I guess a board game. Game. So we have Liana, Jane, Zoe, Gianna. Wait a second. This is a lot. A lot of people. Yeah. Um, we can also, we have a, so much um, ideas wait, wait, wait. up here. Yes. Let's just in group, in group girls together. Let's read me the names and I will assign the rooms and then we will, they will choose what to do. So Arne and Amy in one group. Uh, what's other groups? Janae. I don't see Janae. She left again. Okay. Liana. I'm still here. Oh, are you? Okay. Why I don't see you? Okay. Whew. So we can take out Erna and then we can do this. You can always change back. I just just so that we can have like a group ready. Ayana, Zoe, Gianna. Wait a second. Yeah, I like board games. If someone ends up choosing to do Pong, then I don't mind going back to board game because board game I'd rather do over Pong. But that's only if we get enough for Pong. Anita, what do you want to do? I'll go to Pong. Um. Everybody assigned. So Janae, Amy, Anita. Uh, the second group is, where is Eden? Nowhere. Which one would you like to do, Eden? Are you calling me? Yes. Are you interested into the Pong game, tutoring website, board game? I can't hear you. My brother's in the background. Sorry. It's okay. Um, would you like to do a tutoring website or the Pong game? I'll do the Pong game. Okay. And then we have Isabella. What would you like to do? What's the tutoring one? So tutoring website, um, we have Amy and Arna. So um, I suggested the idea. I actually made my own tutoring website in the past. Basically, um, my idea was to like pro provide like pretending you have your own um, program to tutor. Or you can just base it on um, what Amy and Arna can do. Um, I'm not sure what their idea is regarding tutoring website. Would you guys like to um, share out what you guys are going to do so we can help Isabella go into your team? I think I'm ready with the uh, breakout rooms. At least I have names and teams can discuss what they are doing there, okay? Please join your room. And we will go from there. Just brainstorm together what you want to build all together. Make sense? I need to jump on the room number one. Okay. Looks like we're good now. Thank you for sharing. It looks like a lot of excitement out there. But we have a lot to accomplish still. And I'm glad you are picking this team. It will be fun. Coding and building it for sure. Cindy, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Look small quarter. I believe she's future quarter too. Is she?
Say hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi, sweetie. Okay. We got two girls instead of one learning coding. Thank you, Janea. I think it's your sister, right? Good. Sweetie. It's one of them, yeah. One of them. How many? I have three. Two live with me and two live with my mom. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can say good job. That's easy. <laughs> go, go with the class material. We have Thank you. 15 minutes uh, left. So basically all we have left is just a weekly stand-up. So please respond to one of or more of the prompts. What did you accomplish this meeting? Give an example of how you were brave, resilient, creative, and purposeful. Excuse me. Um, do you need help with anything else with the next within the next meeting? Um, do you want to shout another member? What they accomplished or help for helping others? Or anything you want to share out in the last the last minute? Liana, hi, Anna. I would like to brag about something. Sure. Um, on Discord, I have a friend, and we were talking in Japanese together. Wow. I sort of had to translate some of it, but... <laughs> because you have a shared passion for anime, I guess? Yes. I see. OK. I have two things to say. One, I want to brag because I made the JV volleyball team and I don't play volleyball. Wow. Two, I want to brag on Amy. I think that's her name. Wow. She basically took charge in our group and was the one asking all the questions and trying to put everything together. Look at that. Thank you for sharing and thank you for bragging for other girl. This is awesome, Janae. You are such a generous soul. This is great. I love my girls. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'd like to brag too, just about something at, what, at school. Sure. Um, at my school, we're having a spring production play mm -hmm. called All I Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. Um, and I got two roles. I got a solo singing role in the play and I got a, mm -hmm. like a major character in the role. That's great. That sounds cool for me. Anyone else? If we have a few minutes left, I have so many ideas what we can do. Amy, raise your hand. Um, Go ahead. So I want to compliment um, Janaea because she was giving a lot of ideas. So sweet of you. Thank you, Amy. I think the small group of Arna and Isabella were just missing the third hero. So they definitely need someone to join their group. Yes, Amy, do you want to add? Um, I'm pretty sure I was a third person, but since I'm doing two um right. like games uh you cannot split yourself on two parts that's true so i hope we will have three team members at least at each group and then we will flesh it out no doubts about this cindy i have two proposals for you and you are the leading mentor so you pick what we're doing next the idea number one is just checking homework with the scratch and tutorials and just going through something there because I do want you to do something as a homework. I know it sounds like very rigid homework for coding, but it's your fun coding. Learning with scratch is so playful. If you want, we can ask Arna to show what she did as a homework again because that's where we started before recording. And I yeah, found it so cool. Arda, would you be interested to show again? Amy has a hand. You want to add something, Amy? 
I just wanted to say that for like the um like the homework, I know I did like the um the introduction to like the quiz game, but I didn't finish the inputs and outputs. Good, at least you started. This is really important to start it. And it's not so boring like it some sounds at the beginning. That's why I want Arne to show one once again. Oops. <laughs> we keep missing someone. I have a question. Sure. I forgot that we had homework. So what was the homework? <laughs> Sorry, if you know the better word, we will be using another word for that. But yes, we were asking you to read some tutorials with Scratch. Scratch is so cool. I was thinking I underestimated until I joined the big conference and big festival with Scratch, seeing like all these <laughs> grown up <laughs> adults who are playing with Scratch and doing amazing, amazing anime and like amazing things with Scratch. I was like, wow, it looks like everything is possible with Scratch. That's why I think it's important to take Scratch tutorials. They are very conceptual in regards of computer science. So whenever you will be doing coding with anything, Scratch is really like building blocks for that. I suggest you do it, you play it, and you start building it. It's really short tutorials and switching, practicing it. That's where the fun is. Yes, Zoe? Um, so I was going to tell my team that this is an idea that I thought of. I didn't finish coloring it. It sounds, it sounds for me, the animation letter, animating letters would yeah, be I'm really making good. Letters and then I'm going to do stuff around it, like the characters. All right, animating characters. They have, Scratch does have the tutorials on that specifically. It can be such a fun. Okay, promise, please do something with Scratch. Arna. Yeah. Please share. Um, I just wanted to quickly add on. Does everybody know how to get on the girls uh, tutorial? Girls HQ tutorial? Just to make sure. If you have any questions, please put it on the Discord so I can answer, okay? Uh, I know you can go on. Sorry. So it's okay. So for my Scratch project, I did a quiz game. It's about general knowledge. So like when you click the green flag, it will just ask me a question. It says, how many straight edges does a cube have? So if I, I say 12, it would say correct or incorrect, but 12 is the correct answer. So the other question is, which planet has the title Great Red Spot? So that is Jupiter. Put the wrong one. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Start I'll put from scratch. Yeah, start from scratch. Put the wrong one. How many? So I said edges? six for the edges one, and it says incorrect. The correct answer is twelve. Good. For the other one, I'll put Earth. No, Mercury. So then it says the correct answer is Jupiter. And it sounds like a real so quiz, right? So simple, show your code. Please address what you did with code. So for this, the project code, I um, started off with when the flag is clicked. So then I just said hello to start it off. And then I made it ask um, the question. To answer the question, I said, if the answer is 12, then it would say it's correct. Or if they say another number or something else, it would say the correct answer is 12 and you got the question incorrect. This is awesome. You remember the video we started the class with? If the, so the second if question is the same. <laughs> this is so cool. So she practiced this if then, if else, right? Thank you, Arna. Any questions from the audience? Shall she get the round of applause? Yay! Bravo, Arna! Thumbs up! 
Fuarna. Who likes it? Thank you, Liana. Ayada. Okay. Did we encourage you to practice? Did we encourage you? Thank you, Zoe. To give it a try. It was cool, right? Very simple. Just two building blocks. Saying hello and two questions. Thank you, Anita. Yay, bravo. Good job, Arna. Great job. I liked it so much. I um, hope you will give it a try. I hope you will play with that. This was your moment of glory and bragging, Arna. It was good. It was great. I want to hear from somebody else next time. Yeah, we can do this like a daily, um, like a weekly thing where somebody can like present of what they've done in Scratch. Yes, please. So for homework, please, please um, contact your group members um, for the week and um, coordinate what you want to do with your website, do more website planning. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. And... Um, I and for the website group, I um told them that they can make I gave them an idea of like they can make a Discord um group and they can chat within each other there. Um you, you can use a Google Doc to have all your ideas. Arna actually su suggested the to do the Google Jam, is it called? Jamboard. And that actually um she made sticky notes which her which created the outline. Just, I think it's a really good idea. So if you guys would like to do that, that would also be um, really good. Um, I would like to share out um, that next week we can um, present what we have so far. So have them ready, okay? And basically, we're done. Have a good weekend. If I have any questions, let me know, okay? Bravo. Good teamwork. Round of applause for everyone. I'm so happy, so excited to see the real friendship coming out and the real project started to sparkle. Woohoo! Bye, have a good day. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good Bye. Have a good day. See have you next day. time. See you next Thursday. Great job, Arna. Hey. Wow. It was wow. Great job, everyone. Thank you. The